The relentless wind drives the seawater below. The Southern Ocean is the only circle of latitude in the world with no land. As a result, a huge circular current spins incessantly. The strongest, most persistent ocean current on the planet. It's the combination of vapor, water, wind, and the shape of the Earth that makes the 60s scream. The polar jet is so powerful, it isolates Antarctica from the rest of the world, preventing much warmth or moisture from reaching the interior, creating the world's driest, windiest place. Here, blizzards are caused by wind lifting snow from the ground, rather than precipitation from the sky. The dense, frigid air, a direct result of the polar jet, keeps the entire continent extremely cold. And in winter, the harsh conditions trigger a life-sustaining process that takes place beneath the ice. Here, hidden from view, something extraordinary happens that affects the whole world. Each winter, 25,000 gigatons of sea ice form around Antarctica, and it grows by more than the size of Australia. This animation, using two years of satellite data, shows how the continent is constantly changing. The greatest seasonal shift anywhere on the Earth has a profound effect on life across the planet. And it's all because of the physics of saltwater. To see this process in action means observing Antarctica as winter descends. Night falls. The longest night on Earth. A catabatic wind blows. It is driven by cold air falling from Antarctica's mountains. The 150 km per hour blast brings everything to a standstill. Emperor penguins are one of the few animals to remain here throughout the winter. But even they are barely able to survive these bone-chilling conditions. In a remote area of coastline called the Weddell Sea, a series of pollinias form. These are large regions of open salt water surrounded by ice. Here, the catabatic wind cools the seawater to sub-zero temperatures. A critical threshold is crossed once the upper layer of ocean falls below minus one and a half degrees Celsius. Now another remarkable property of salt water takes over. On the surface, the sea begins to freeze. At a microscopic level, Tiny crystals start to grow, knitting themselves together.
As it freezes, the seawater must release its salt. The water that isn't frozen becomes saltier still. It forms a brine that drips down narrow, elongated tubes in the freshly made ice. The brine is denser than regular seawater, and it sinks downwards. This heavy salt water takes with it oxygen from the air above. Now it carries that oxygen into the depths below. The formation of ice accelerates in speed and scale. Soon, large slicks appear on the surface and begin to thicken into a solid mass. What started as a microscopic process can be seen from space within just seven days. Latest surveys by satellites and submarine sensors reveal an ancient yet invisible consequence of this remarkable transformation. Every second, one and a half million cubic meters of dense salty water sink downwards. An unstoppable vertical current. Where the water meets the sea floor, it spreads out over hundreds of kilometers. It cascades over the continental shelf. A vast submarine waterfall appears, never seen by human eyes. A torrent equivalent to 500 million Niagara Falls. The cold, dense, oxygenated brine falls slowly, silently into the abyss. It will not resurface for at least a thousand years. <laughs> 